go hello students today we are going to learn how to verify the midpoint theorem by paper folding cutting and testing method but before the verification we need to know the meaning of the theorem so let me explain the theorem to you if you take any type of triangle i have taken a triangle and named it as a b c and take the midpoints of any two sides let the midpoint of ab be b and the midpoint of ac be e and join them so the statement of the theorem is that the line segment this line segment line segment joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and half of the third side that is this de will be parallel to the third side bc and this de will be half of the third side bc this is the theorem now we are going to verify these things that is this de will be parallel to bc and de will be half of bc by paper folding cutting and testing method for this we need glue stick cutter ruler pencil pen and few sheets of paper color paper you can take any type of colors now first step draw a triangle any type of triangle whatever you want i have taken it a scalar triangle a b and c now since we have to cut this one so cut the triangle a b c along its sides i have already cut it and taken the triangle a b c now the theorem was to get the midpoints of the side a b and a c so first we have to obtain the midpoints so for this watch carefully that since we have to obtain the midpoint of a b so i am folding the side a b so that the point o sorry a will overlap with the side b watch carefully point a will overlap with point b press it so that you get a firm midpoint and uh, this is the midpoint and i am naming it as b now in the same way we are going to obtain the midpoint of the side a c so folding so that c will overlap with a and press it firmly to get the midpoint of the side a c this is the midpoint and i am naming it as e now since we need the line segment d e so let us join d e So we have got the line segment DE. Now we are going to prove that this line segment DE will be half of BC, and this line segment DE will be parallel to BC. Now since we have proved that this one is half of BC, so we need the half of BC also. So let me obtain the half. That is midpoint of BC. Overlap B with C and fold it to get the midpoint of BC. I am naming it as F. so we have got the triangle the midpoints and the line segment a so line segment de so next i am going to paste this triangle on this sheet on which i am going to write the observation so let me apply some glue over it Huh. now <clears throat> since we need to prove that these two lines are parallel and we have learned in lines and angles that two lines are parallel if the corresponding angles are equal so i am going to prove that this angle aed will be equal to acb so these two angles will be equal then the lines will be parallel so for proving the angles equal i am going to cut this triangle and arrange this triangle ade in such a way that the angle e coincides with angle c in that way the angles will be equal for this i have cut already a triangle ade and obtained the triangle ade now i am going to cut the triangle ade along the line segment d
So I am going to put it in a way that the angle E coincides with angle C. Now watch carefully. Since this one is C, after overlapping it will hide behind it. So I am writing the point C over here, point F over here. You have to arrange it such that this E overlaps with C. Now as you can see that this angle E has exactly overlapped the angle C. It means angle E and angle C are equal. So you can write that angle E is equal to angle C. And these two angles are what? Corresponding angles and as the corresponding angles are equal. So the lines will be parallel. So this will imply this line DE, the angle E is parallel to the line BC which contains the line C. So DE is parallel to BC. Our first part is proved. Now coming to the second part that <coughs> DE will be half of BC. Now you can observe that we have got the midpoint F of the side BC and DC is overlapping exactly that half portion of BC that DE is equal to FC DE is equal to FC and FC was what the half of BC so in place of FC we can write half BC so we can see that DE is half of BC so DE is half of B C. So in this way I have proved the theorem that the line segment DE joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle ABC is half of the third side and parallel to the third side. I hope you have learned and you will be able to verify the theorem by your own. Thank you.